Hi, I'd like to introduce you to Claire. Uh, she's a little bit more attractive than me, but uh, she has a debilitating vestibular disorder called Meniere's disease. Because of it, when she lectures, uh, she actually has to ask the front row to tell her whether she's speaking too loudly or too softly because her tinnitus is so loud she can't hear herself speak. Uh, also, every single morning when she wakes up, she has to lay in bed for an extra 45 minutes waiting for her vertigo to subside. Uh, dis uh, over a million people in the United States have debilitating vestibular disorders. There's virtually no solutions and over $10 billion a year is spent in just emergency treatment. Hi, my name is Sam Owen and I'm the founder of Odoth Labs where we've developed the very first fast-acting solution to treat vestibular disorders. Our patented technology, which can be integrated in virtually any head-mounted device, sends low-frequency vibrations to the inner ear to stimulate it in a constant but non-informative way. Think of it like a white noise machine, but for the vestibular system. And what this white noise allows you to do is naturally and without any uh, risk, kind of tune out your vestibular system, which prevents the symptoms of these vestibular disorders. But this goes beyond pure medical uses. Uh, motion sickness, which affects roughly one third of the population, is caused when your eyes say one thing, but your inner ear says something different. Our masking technology goes after the root cause of motion sickness, and the result is an immediate uh, uh, reduction in motion sickness that lasts indefinitely as long as you're wearing the device and has no side effects like medication. Now, NASA's own uh, HRR Gap SM27 says you guys right now are looking for a new uh, non pharmaceutical intervention for motion sickness. Well, here it is. And it's easy to understand why. When mo astronauts get to the space station, it can take several days before they can acclimate and go back to full working conditions. And with uh, new water landings coming up again, Gus Grissom would say that is not the time to be motion sick or to be impaired because of uh, medication. And you guys aren't alone. The Air Force recently awarded Otolith a $1.5 million phase two Sibir to integrate this technology into their pilot training helmets. Ford, Audi, and Jaguar Land Rover have all done independent clinical trials with this and showed 100% of people having a significant improvement compared to a placebo. Now as you walk around CES, you're gonna see a lot of VR, self-driving cars, and even space tourism. Motion sickness will be a signature condition of the 21st century. And we invite NASA to join with Odolith to bring about what will be the signature solution. Instantaneous relief uh, that lasts uh, indefinitely without side effects. Let me show you what that looks like. And I feel like I can actually have some intelligibility in speech. That is me. <laughs> Thank you very much.